The first consignment of 100 litres of nanonitrogen urea fertiliser manufactured by the Indian Farmers Fertiliser Cooperative in Gujarat is due to be brought to the Bandaranaika International Airport tonight. The Ministry of Agriculture yesterday said that the Indian Farmers Fertiliser Cooperative had agreed to provide Sri Lanka with a total of 3,100,000 litres of nanonitrogen urea fertiliser. The mass production of this fertilizer began in June this year. Meanwhile, the Secretary to the Ministry of Agriculture said local agronomists were also involved in the production process of the fertilizer. Local agronomists were involved in the production process of this fertilizer. The company has the patent for the fertilizer produced in Sri Lanka. I see this as an opportunity for Sri Lanka to use the results of our professors and doctors who worked hard to produce this fertilizer using nanotechnology. Earlier we saw a situation where we were not able to produce fertilizer although we even had a patent for it. We cannot change that. We cannot locally produce this fertilizer in a time span of two to three months. An Indian company has the patent for this. However, they have promised to provide us with 3.1 million litres of fertilizer for eco-friendly agriculture here in Sri Lanka. Has the government withdrawn from the organic fertilizer policy? Questions were raised regarding the matter during today's cabinet meeting. The government is not of a harsh or stubborn stance on any matter. This is not a bad policy, but the debate is on the time frame. It will take some time for us to reach our goals. During that time, we will look at the issues of the farmers, their harvest and their economic situation. When the need arises, taking one step back is not a bad thing.